In my book Excel Simulations, I give you 80 different examples of simulations in all kinds of areas, gambling, statistics, genetics, financial, expansion issues, Monte Carlo simulations, iterations, and a bunch of extras. You can find this book at genesispc.com. In this video I will only discuss one, DNA sequencing. It is one of the 80 simulations that you can make on your own very easily. You don't have to know VBA as long as you know how to make formulas and functions. So the one that I just mentioned, DNA sequencing, is going to look something like this. We have a certain DNA string that we don't know the composition of yet. So we are going to feed to uh, uh, multiple copies of this, A, C, G or T nucleotides, but in 10% of the cases we have a, a slightly changed nucleotide and that changed one has a, a group missing that prevents it from being further expanded in the chain. So it will stop. So in this case at the moment we got that A there, we got a T version, a T version, a T version, a T version. That means that the, the string was stopped copying there. So we know that at that spot was T, so the complementary code should be A. So we know in the original one there was A. You want to know much more about this. I explained this very briefly, very clumsily. You will find much more on that issue in my book. It's all in the genes, really. You find it at genesispc.com and it discusses all kinds of genetics issues including the double helix of DNA from genes to DNA, changes in DNA, the silent parts of DNA, DNA the secret of life. So that's what we are trying to do here. Uh, I'm just going to focus on the formulas in the background. How did we get this random sequence of DNAs? So we used in there the VLOOKUP function. It looks in this little table by using a random number between 1 and 4 and it will find if it happens to be 2 it will find the nucleotide C, otherwise G, otherwise T, etc. So this is the VLOOKUP function if you want to know the exact grammar. I made it in this case that 10% of the nucleotide has that group that prevents it from further extension. So you can change this of course if you change that into 0.8 and this will become 0.2. Based on that information we are going to find out what is going to happen randomly when we create from slices of this DNA, when we create copies of it. At the moment it reaches the ones with that asterisk, it will stop building up. So then we know what at this position was, that was the T theamin. Okay, how did we do that? We put in there the function, if the a random number between 0 and 1 happens to be greater than B1, which is 0.9, if, that is, if that's not the case, then we put nothing in there. Otherwise we put a VLOOKUP function in there. And VLOOKUP function is going to say, look up that one, A7, in the range B2 through C5, B2 through C5. In column 2 you will find what that marked nucleotide is. And then you copy that formula to the right. You do the, And then you copy it down, and again you copy it to the right. So finally we have to find here what was... I know it's very visible that that is T here, but if you want the machine to find that out, you need the index function. The index function, the first variant of it, says look in the array, in this case B7 through AO7 in row number 0, and find a match. When something is true, this is true, that is false, true, true, false, finds the first true value in the lookup array 
B7 through A07 if it's not empty. And it found in this case in number 5, the first case. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. And we look that up with index. We look up that number 5 in the range B7 through A07 and we find T marked. Okay. So we copy that formula down. Then here we have to find the complementary code, which is basically very simple now. You use the index function again. You look in B2 through C5. You find a matching case for AQ7, that is that T marked, in the lookup range C2 through C5. Match type 0, that is 1, that is this case. And when you go back to index, you will find it found A there, that is the complementary code of T. Okay. Again, if you press F9, it, it will find a new string of DNA. And it will run. Sometimes you get not available because by pure coincidence we never got that value. It is clear that if you change this into 0.8, then you probably get many more situations because we have a higher percentage of marked nucleotides. I'm going to set it back to 0.9. You could try 0.95, etc. As I said, you can find simulations in my book, Excel simulations. You can find all the information you could ever dream of about genetics in my book. It's all in the genes.